It's a Monday. Okay, so we are starting our weekly accountability partner show, teaching you how to how to be a good accountability partner or a great accountability partner, what you should look for in an accountability partner if you don't have one already. And let's introduce ourselves real quick and get this get this party started. Go ahead, Miss. Get Cindy. the show on the road. Sorry, yes. I'm getting all settled. Okay. Welcome everybody. Welcome Facebook Live. This is, I think, our second week on Facebook Live. Um, Periscope, replay viewers, everybody out there, welcome to Fly on the Wall. We are talking about everything and anything accountability partners. My name is Cindy Carey. My family, my husband and I, and our son own Starburst Construction Company. We build and remodel new homes in Silicon Valley. Nice. And my lovely Vanna, accountability Vanna? partner. I'm Vanna now? You're Vanna. Are you Pat Sajak? <laughs> I'm Pat Sajak. Uh, okay, okay. My name is Shauna Anderson New, and I am the owner of Spitfire Advertising. I'm here in the Bay Area as well. Uh, I own uh, these wonderful, wonderful advertising agencies, Spitfire Advertising, and we help our clients connect captivate and convert their prospects into clients so hi Lorna hi Martha so we're seeing our, some Facebook live people thanks for joining yeah thank you and Lori. Hi, Lori. thank you okay so today's agenda we are talking about step two so if you missed last week we did step one there's a recording on our Facebook live that you can see uh, step two is figuring out what you want an accountability partner and what you offer as an accountability partner and we're going to talk about our goals. We want to hear your goals from last week. How did you do on them? We go over that every week to help you be accountable and to help ourselves be accountable for our goals. We talk about our wins and we talk about our lessons. Thank you for the hearts on Periscope. And then Cindy ends it with our message for the day. So, yep. So, girlfriend, what do you want to talk about first? You want to do our let's do how since let's do our goals from last week. Let's find out how everybody did. Type in the chat. Talk to each other. So how did you guys do and on your goals from last late week? Post what you did. Shauna? Yes, dear. Okay. If you could let people know how to jump on, on Zoom if they would like to join us. Okay. So on Zoom, if you go over to um, Spitfire Advertising on Facebook Live, you're going to see a pin post that has the link. So you can jump onto Zoom and you can join us in the conversation if you want to be live with us. Or you can just type in the comments. Up to you. Whatever you prefer. So awesome. Okay. Okay. We want to learn from you as well as help you learn from what we've been through. So last week on my goals, I did I did really well. Yay. I think I told you yeah, I did really well. I um towards the end of the week I got a little bit busy and I didn't work on my special project. Um but there was a lesson in there. So um I it's amazing to me when I put to sign a job on my list when I write it, right. it happens. Right. Nice. I love so that. How'd you do on your phone? I did good. I, um, so I have my three tiered marketing packages that I'm working on. I made some progress on there. I had a shorter week because we took off. We left actually Thursday afternoon and went over to Harry Potter world. So I worked on that. And as far as my health, I said I was going to walk six miles three times a day then do harry potter i did two mile or two days with six miles and then the last day i think i did like three miles i just ran out of time but i still feel like it's a success because we did like uh 30 no sorry thirty-two thousand steps which is like 16 miles at universal just and that's friday oh, and saturday awesome. yeah so so i did well on that and then I did listen to my Marketing Impact Academy course and take my notes like I said I would do, which by the way, I had totally forgotten and then I was thinking about the show today. So on the way, on the way home last night, I was like, oh yeah, I need to listen to this. So got that done. Awesome. Or I, if I didn't yeah. have the show and you, I wouldn't have had that done this week, just so you know. So I'm gonna say that I really, one of my goals was to work an hour on my special project every day um, for something that I've been working on that can't disclose yet. But, um, and I've been doing really well working an hour a day, every yeah. day on it. And then the end of the week though, I kind of, I fell flat that the, the energy got put towards cleaning our garage, which took us two days and that's done. So it's a mixed blessing. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. All right. So how about how about your lessons? What kind of did you learn anything last week? <laughs> I did. I did. I learned. What? Yes, I always am learning something. So I learned last week not to have, okay, so the weekend before I do my breast cancer walk, which is this weekend coming up, you're supposed to take the weekend off, no walking, nothing major you do. Well, okay, so I went to Universal Studios, Harry Potter World, and I walked 16 miles. So I really, yeah, I was like, okay, that wasn't the um, smartest thing to do when I know my walk's coming up. I've done my walk for six years. I'm just going to put it out there. It's going to be fine. It's totally fine. I also, yeah. my lesson is not to have two short weeks in a row because it kind of stresses, not kind of, it really stresses me out. So, yep, yeah, last week and this will, week, I'm going to have short I weeks. I don't like it, so I don't want to do that. I need to be aware of that. And what about you for your lessons? Um, so, my lessons um, are, actually, you know what, we forgot a big win. I just want to say this. So We haven't, we haven't done our wins yet. yet. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> lesson. Sorry. Okay. Lesson. So, my lesson, my lesson for the week was that I got yelled at at a job walk, mm. um, and and I feel like I'm a really nice person. And the reason I got yelled at was really based upon it, it was the client, and I didn't know he had a question. So, what I learned was at the beginning of a project walk group, to make sure and ask if there's any person or thing in particular that both people if they're both there, want to talk about. Right. So nice. that was a huge lesson because I did not know that this fellow had a question. We were done. The electrician was gone. And then she springs this on me and was not happy with the fact that the electrician had left before he asked the question. But I didn't know we had. Right. Communication. Isn't that wonderful? Communication is so it key. Is. <laughs> it is. If I could just be a mind reader, it yep. would be awesome. You would be fine. You would be fine. Okay, yeah. so 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 tell me about your wins. You're so excited. Tell me about your wins. Oh, we have a promotion coming up that I'm so excited about that we are like finalizing all of our our particulars. So stay tuned. That's one of the things that we do together is um, are some fun promotions throughout the year. So our next one is coming up in August, and so I'm so happy that we've gotten the items that we need together, and those things are moving forward, and we're going to be recording a video. Week. Yes. So when I was at uh, Harry Potter Land, I took a picture with Lucy. She looked just like her, by the way. Yeah. And she was so adorable. And I was telling her about our, um, for those that don't know, for our promo oh, that we yeah. did last year for Smile Week, we did we did Lucy and Ethel. And, and she's like, how did you do the conveyor belt? So I told her the whole thing. And she's all, what's a Smile Week? And she's like, oh, I love it. I love it. So it was really cute. So, yeah. I love it. You sent me the picture with Lucy, which I love. Yes. It was awesome. So any other wins? All right, Ethel. Any what other? were your wins? Oh, my, my, my other wins were besides the garage and signing a job. I had two fo three photo shoots in the last week. Nice. And also uh, my luxury home group, we got together and approved um, and are looking into some other avenues for marketing. So that was a super successful meeting too. Yeah. Love it. That was good. Okay. Yeah. So what about you? Okay. So my first win was not to be an adult for for two and a half days which really night which was really really nice and just kind of escaped to harry potter world where i got to be a wizard uh, this whole pokemon go that's huge my kid or my son and my husband taught me how to play so i am now level seven blue team who knows what i'll do after this Woo! but you know Coffee. you can't beat them join them right so we had some fun yeah. with that yep uh, i got a referral into intel to help them with their marketing excited about that my assistant nice did a great job covering for me. So we are making some big progress with the uh -oh. training of the employees. Yes, yes, you yeah, know, there's been a little struggle with that, so I'm excited. And I had my session with my intuitive coach to help me give direction in my business and the healing I'm doing towards being raped a lot, 30 years ago, so it's not new, but there's just been, it's just time to peel another layer of the onion for healing, and I've kind of got wasn't sure where to go and now I feel like I have some direction so I'm excited about that. Those are the and, ones. And we both did that this weekend which is by no mistake and we can talk about that a little bit later. Okay cool. Cool cool cool. Awesome. Okay so let's go into uh, let's go into what we're talking about to help people become and have a better accountability partner relationship. So this is step two. We did yep. step one last week. So step two. 
This is, um, you need to write down what you want in an accountability partner relationship and what you bring to the table. It's important to know what you bring to the, table, to the table as well so that you can articulate that to somebody who you're looking for to be your accountability so partner. What are some examples of what you might be looking for a week? So we, so we suggest somebody who's a vibrational match with you, right? Um, somebody who matches your energy level, somebody who is as committed and as motivated as you are. Uh, someone, if you, you need to decide if you want to have a mentor to student relationship or you want someone who's at the same level, make sure you're very clear about that so that there's no um, disappointment with that. Uh, you want somebody who's going to hold you accountable for your goals, who's going to push you, right? Not let, not necessarily just let you off the hook. Obviously, there's times when things happen, and Cindy's very good with this with me because she knows I'm really hard on myself, where she'll say, that's okay. It's totally okay that you didn't do that this week. She's like, but you need to do it next week. So she helps me get back on the horse. Um, we. And so what, what would you say are things that you bring to the table? So, no, so no, no I want to do it this I want to do it this way because okay. I wrote down some ideas. I because we could talk about what we both think we bring to the table, but I think it's better if we say what the other person brings to the table for us. So I wrote down, okay. yeah, I wrote some, I like yeah, I wrote down some things You're that you. Always bring these surprises on me. No, I'm going first. Now. <laughs> okay, you can go first. Um, okay, another so thing that real quick, another thing is when you pick your accountability partner, that you need to make sure that the person and you won't know it until you actually start going through the session, you know, going through the, the program or whatever you're going to do with them. You need to make sure that they are not just all talk, that they actually, there's action there. So that is really, really important. And the best way to do that we found is by doing a program with that person. So you can see how they work and you can see if it's a fit for you. Okay. So you okay. want to go first, girlfriend. Okay. So, but first to follow up on that. So we call that like a trial period, right? Because you think you have an a, a energy level, you think that you're both motivated, and you both maybe have an interest in something, and then you find out by doing that whether it's something that you can continue on an ongoing basis. So um, that's why we think all those things are super important. And obviously, you know, having some personal things in common too is helpful. Right. It doesn't have to be. We happen to, but it doesn't have to include that. Right. It could be strictly for your health or for business or for whatever you're working on. Right. So what do you bring to the table? What do I bring to the table? You, your love. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. So, so you, uh, you bring to the table um, a very clear-sightedness and directness as far as if I'm veering off in the wrong direction, letting mm. me know mm. that I need to get back on on the on track um if i'm getting stuck and saying something over and over again you help me do that you have helped me um get more involved since we've been working together more involved than ever and learn more and more about how to run a business nice. so as far as the continuing education right you are extremely organized and always have a creative different option. You're super motivated and so responsible. Like I know that you are overly responsible as far as paying attention to getting things done. And I can always count on you to make sure the details are covered. Oh, thank you. So those of us are just joining on Facebook Live and Periscope. So we are talking about accountability partners and we're talking about, um, figuring out what you want an accountability partner and what you offer. So we're just showing you an example of what we see as the benefit that Cindy brings to me and I bring to Cindy over the last three years. That's really changed things for us. So, Hey Michelle, thanks for joining us. Somebody, right. Having somebody to share with and go through things with and bounce things off of. And I know Without a doubt that you have my best interest at heart. Definitely. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So for you, what you bring to what you bring to the relationship for me is It's the funny. It's the funny. <laughs> yes, she if it's not fun, why bother? That's like one of her favorite lines. Um yes. is is the ability to brainstorm with somebody and come up with these really great ideas that 
sometimes I could say, I'll say that I could get, I could have gotten there by myself. It would have taken me a lot longer. And sometimes she'll throw in things that I would have never thought of. So to have that person to brainstorm with is amazing to bounce ideas off of you and say, okay, this is what I'm thinking about doing. How do you feel this, this fits me for my business or personally, whatever it is. And to get, have your guidance that that is huge. You help me see things that I can't see because I'm so close to it. And I think that everybody can, everybody can understand that, right? When we're so close to it, it's hard for us to see what's outside of ourselves. I know that because of you, if I set a goal that I am going to make sure that I do it because I don't want to let myself down or you down. And so that makes me so, That's I, true. Yeah, so that makes You're me so I, <laughs> I reach my goals faster. Um, our relationship, our relationship has become very close. And I have to say when we started, it was strictly a business relationship. I mean, we had a connection. We knew we liked each other, but it wasn't a friendship that we would go out and do things. It was totally a business relationship. And so that's one thing I can say that I never saw that was going to happen. But Cindy now knows me inside and out, which helps me in so many ways because she can see things that I'm going through and she can say, Hey, that goes back to when you were 10 years old. That goes back to this struggle you had back then. That goes back to, you know, this relationship with this person. And I'm like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. So that's what's been really amazing. I love that you're as motivated as I am because if you weren't, this would be hard for me. I love that we're able to talk about business outside of you know, nine to five, Monday through Friday, right? We go on our hikes. We talk about business and personal and everything. I love that. Um, I can completely trust you. I know that you have my best interest at heart, that you're not going to steer me wrong just because you feel like it's a competition or you feel like I'm advancing faster than you. You're not going to give me any bad advice. I love that you're spiritual. I love that you love hiking. So we totally have that in common and we have that connection that you wanna do a, a lot of the programs that I wanna do. So we get to do them together and we get more out of them that way. I love that you're independent and you're a strong woman because I feel like we help other women because of that and it helps our relationship too. And I love that you feel as I do, it is so important to give back. So you've come on board with me, you have helped me with my breast cancer fundraising, you've helped me with this poker tournament and on and on, like anything that we want to give back to, we, we just do it together now, which is fun to have a little partner in crime to raise money and help the world. It is. <laughs> and you're I a good... I don't think we ever thought we were going to end up with best, a best friend. No, not at all. No, definitely. Yeah. And I have to say that you are such a great example for to me to keep pushing myself to do public speaking because it's so natural for you and it's so unnatural for me to do <laughs> public speaking and to delegate. Those are two... <laughs> Two weaknesses that I've had that are just very intuitive for you. So it's really helped me. Hey, Sandy, how you doing? She says, great topic. Hi. Thank you. Um, and well, you're, you're cheating because you got time to make a list. I, well, I told you yesterday when we talked on the phone. If you didn't make your list, then girlfriend, you didn't listen or what? I don't know. I was cleaning the garage. Girlfriend. You were. You were. <laughs> so um, also I have to say, with accountability partners that I would love to see other people do that Cindy and I do for each other. When an opportunity per, um, is shown to either of us, we think about the other person. So for example, she had an opportunity given to her last week where she can mentor some people. And she immediately called me, told me about it. She's excited about it. And I'm so excited for her. And then she said, and I'm going to give them your name because I think this is something that would be really good for you too. So to have that person that is always thinking about you and can help you grow your business and yourself personally. I mean, to me, this are all like, this is like the secret sauce of having an accountability partner. Right. So I, I can't say more. So when you're, so we're in step two where you're going to write down what you want an accountability partner and what you bring to the table. Those are a lot of examples of what we help each other with and what we see that you can help your partner with or be for your partner. And we would love you to add those things to your list. So really sit there, take, I mean, 15 minutes, write it out. It doesn't take and that long. We didn't know, frankly, you know, for those of you that are new or joining, we didn't know any of this. This is all just sort of come naturally out of 
out of the way our relationship grew. Right. So, you know, in hindsight, we can say these are things that we have found that we really, really love. Definitely, definitely. And if yeah. you can if you can grow your partner, like if you have one now, and if you can grow your partnership and you have that trust with each other and the things that we've just talked about, then you're gonna you're gonna grow that relationship exponentially. It's gonna be huge. Right. It's not right. just going to be um, it's not just a business relationship. It's not just to help you whether you're a business owner or a salesperson or something, you know, an employee. It's not help you with just that. It's going to help you personally as well. And I think that is the strength that a lot of accountability partners are missing in their relationship that we can show you by example of what we do. So anything else to add to that, Cindy? And anybody else who's on uh, Facebook Live or Periscope that wants to add? Anything so that you guys have? I think that all, the, all that there is to add is thank you, and I love you, and I'm grateful for mm -hmm. the fact that we found each other. Me too. And, um, and, and, you know, start small, people. It's not, you're not going to start off. This, we've had, we've known each other for three, four years. Probably four like years. And, and our partnership has grown. We didn't start. We started off, like we said, working on something on the business, and, you know, you, you may you may find this person, but you also may find a coach or a mentor or an accountability partner that's, that fits you just for a certain goal. Say you want to run a marathon. It, maybe it's, it's somebody that you can commit to, you know, on a weekly basis or whatever as far as uh, working out or you can text them or email them. However it is, whatever it is, it could be for a short period, it could be for a long period. We've just found that for our lives, as well as our businesses, this is really working for us. Definitely. So Lee on Facebook Live is asking, are you doing Periscope and Facebook Live at the same time? So if anybody else wants to do something like this, let me tell you how we have it set up. On my laptop is, the, is Zoom, right? So we can have the split screen because Cindy and I are in different locations. We're about an hour apart. Um, on my phone, I have Facebook Live, and on my tablet, I have Periscope. So, and I have Facebook Live and the tablet pointing at the laptop screen. So everything's being casted uh, together. You are mis oh, so wait, I forgot to say this. You are my techno technological support <laughs> and all things technology. I just have to say help, and you show how to do things. Yeah, but so, now you have Marissa. Well, th That's huge. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting because you have, we both have different strengths and weaknesses. So, and it's awesome because we bring them together and we're so strong and we fill in each other's gaps. Right. So that's very, I, I, I love that. It's very cool. Yeah. So, me too. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So anybody else have any, uh, we are not experts. We're always looking to better what we're doing. So if anybody has something you know, that they've done and that they think would also be helpful, you know, please put it out there. Let us know. We'd love to, um, obviously, it's about building a community and what works for us exactly may not work for other people. So we want to start the conversation. Right, definitely. And uh, if anybody wants to come on live with us, then go on to Zoom. If you go on to my Facebook page, which is Spitfire Advertising, um, there's a pinned post that has the link. Just for Zoom, just click on that. You can come in and you can talk live as well, or you can just comment. It's up to you. So just to wind this up, I think that if anybody hasn't listened to step one last week, what to do to get an accountability partner, go back and listen to that recording. It's on our Facebook Live. Then to this so week Shana, was step two. Before you talk, can you briefly say, do you remember the homework from step one? The homework for step one. You know what's so funny? I always have it right here in front of me. And I didn't print it this week. Um, oh, That's okay. no, it is. It's, it's write down. Right, yeah, write write down what goals you want to reach and be held accountable for. That's what step one is. Okay, so then, and then if you're doing step two, then the next step would be the homework. Step a little two. Bit of homework. Uh -huh. Write down what you want in accountability partner relationship and what you bring to the table. So those are the first two steps, and this is a this is a nine step process that we go through. And then we also bring you um, different tips and tricks to help you. Like we talked about masterminds. We brought some of our masterminds on. We brought in uh, a sales coach 
who, because we had questions about, you know, how do I close these deals and other things. And so we had a sales coach come in. We just do mindset. We talk about a lot of different things that all go with growing yourself and your business with accountability partners. Yep. So absolutely. Yes. Awesome girlfriend. Okay. So do you want to, let's talk about our goals for the week, unless you have anything else you want to talk about first. Um, no. Okay. Let's see. My goal for the week. I actually, my goal for the week is I actually did my goal sheet. Ooh. My time activation. Yay. Nice. If you can see, I actually did it, which I haven't done it in weeks. So I feel like, I just need to look down and see what time it is and I know what I'm doing. So real quick, um, if so anybody I'm, in the, who anybody who's watching wants to write in the chat what they have set for their goals for this week, that's great because we'll help you be accountable when you come back next week. Check in with us. Let us know how you did. So, okay, go ahead, Cindy. Sorry about that. No, that's awesome. So um, we're going to do our video for Smile Week. Yes. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm working on my special project then for an hour each day. Um, I have a... a a free a networking video that I've been working on, and I think I finally resolved my camera issue. Yes. Yay! So, oh, cool! So I can't wait to see it. I'm putting it on my list again to sign a job. Nice. Because when I do, miracles happen. So, um, you know, so and and then my normal everyday stuff. But those are the things that I really um, I want to get those things done. I'm really focusing on my special project. So, oh, and. With our um, intuitive coach, I did sign up. Oh, you did? For her 14 week program. Nice. And she already sent me homework. Oh, very cool. <laughs> I am. So um, I am going to be doing that. I am attending a National Association of Labor Models Industry meeting this week. And I'm also doing a course that you had sent to me from John Asaroff. I'm going to at least record it and yeah. listen to it. Yeah. Awesome. That, yeah, that definitely is. Oh, and I'm walking across the bridge with you. She is for the breast cancer walk. Yes. So. All right. What about you? So since you just segued into that, let's talk about that first. So this weekend I'm walking 40 miles for breast cancer. Cindy is going to meet me in San Francisco and do the Golden Gate portion with me. So we walk over the Golden Gate, which is really cool. It's really cool. So I'm excited because it's the first time. Awesome. First time she's walked with me. For the, and this is my six year walking. Yes. So this week for my health, I need to prepare for my breast cancer walk. I'm getting a massage on Wednesday. I need to do yoga every day and really loosen all my joints up and get in the jacuzzi. And I'm juicing today only. I thought about not juicing, but being gone over the weekend and going yeah. and not eating like I should, yeah. I decided to just juice for today only. Um, I'm going to make a little progress on my marketing packages. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm not going to stress myself out. I'm going to make a little progress. Yes. And then I will listen to the Marketing Impact Academy, my course and take notes like I've been doing. I think we're almost done. I think this is the last week and then there's a couple bonus things to watch, but it's almost done. Yes. Yes. Yep. And then of course doing our video for Smile Week. So we need to yeah, we need to see if there's anything we need to talk about beforehand and get into place. I know that we talked a little bit about it yesterday. So we're excited and we will show you our video once it's done, but we will not, yeah, it won't be shown for a little while because we have to shoot it, edit it, and get it ready. So, yep, it's going to be awesome. So, anybody who doesn't know, Smile Week is the second week in August and we use it as a a time that we promote our business. We promote our business, but it's more about just making people smile. So connecting with them. So we go out to clients and prospects and we visit their offices and we dress up as a character, which by the way, I know what I want to do next year, by the way, just so you know, I already, really? yes, but we have to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was thinking about it. Yes. And we repost our video from last year so that if anybody's on Facebook wants to revisit what, what we do, it's looking crazy. Yes. So it's a good Lee says she is doing one thing a day this week. That's good. One, That's awesome. you know what? That's where I can say focus is so key because when we spread ourselves too th thin and yeah. for me, squirrels, I don't know. My mind really loves squirrels. So for oh. me to focus on one is better. So proud of you, Lee. So, um, yeah. can I, can I just show you guys? I just got back from Harry Potter world. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. 
I got a sorting hat so I can figure out what um, what uh, house, I forgot the name. Okay, I'm new to this okay, whole I, Harry Potter thing. I hope it's not Harry Potter we're doing next year because I don't know anything about it. Okay, listen. Listen, I'm gonna pick a I'm gonna pick a house for you. Let's see who you get. Ah, uh, yes, a ready mind. You belong in Ravenclaw. Ooh, you're Ravenclaw. Do your do your grandsons? Do your grandsons watch no. Harry Potter? Uh oh, baby. Okay, so now you're in the Ravenclaw. Huh? Is that a good thing? What's my house? It, it, you're Ravenclaw. They're just different houses. So you're okay. Ravenclaw. Yes. Okay, good. I'm awesome. in I'm in Gryffindor. They uh in, oh. Yeah, so I'm in oh, Harry oh, Potter's oh. I'm in Harry Potter's house. So and then I picked my wand. Well actually my wand picked me because that's what it does in Harry Potter. Here's your I'm giving you a Harry Potter tutorial right now. Harry, I said Harry Potty. Harry Potter tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> so I got that's my okay. wand. Let me, wait, wait. Let me just explain our technical difficulties briefly. So our technical difficulties, maybe this is because you went to Harry Potter then. Oh. When Shauna came on, she sounded very deep and demonic. She said I said it. I, I sounded demonic. <laughs> you were demonic laughing is so hard. I'm like, I cannot do the show like this because I am going to laugh the whole time. It was hilarious. That's funny. So I got my wand. So this wand picked me because it repels evil and it heals right it attracts right. energy so this is my wand right. yes 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 and then this you're gonna love I had to get this I never even knew it because I haven't watched all the movies yet I'm still learning I got a remember all so a remember all is hold on a second let me start it I me if you could see it can you see it lights up red yeah it might be too bright in here so when you need to remember something you you tap it and it helps you remember so I was like, I probably, so need that. I probably need like 20 of these, right? My husband's laughing. He's like, you're really buying that? And I was like, yeah, maybe it'll be like something that sparks my brain. I'll be like, what is it? What is it? Oh, now I know. Exactly. I know. I love that. I love that. That's awesome. And then of course they had to get the chocolate frog. So. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I don't know anything. I, okay. Well, I got an education. I, in order for me to go, I said I had to go. I had to watch some of the movies. So, yes. In order to do what? I'm sorry. In order to go Wait, on the no. trip, I wanted to watch some of the movies. So I didn't know Harry Potter before like the last week and a half. So now I'm learning. Okay. So, are you? Did you actually? You did get through some of the movies. I did get through. I got through two and a half movies. There's That's like awesome. six or seven. Do you like them? Were they good? Oh my what gosh. I really liked them. I okay. I didn't know because I don't really watch TV or movies. But when I was watching, I was like, "Wow, I actually really like the Harry Potter movies." Yeah. See, I don't know that I would like them, so that's why I haven't really gotten into them. But I, I probably they're, would. They're fun. I mean, honestly, they're a little fun. They, um, you know, I'm about the graphics and stuff, especially being a graphic designer. So I'm like watching all of that and how they put it together, and like just fascinated by how they do all this. So it's really cool that's awesome it's that's really awesome. cool all right oh good good goals anybody else have some goals out there so lee this has this week. let me just finish reading lee she said today she's finishing the a a h r a trade show blast and scheduling tomorrow tiffany beth website angel i don't know what that means but i know she does and then wednesday she's working on contracts so good job lee awesome. okay check back in with us next week let us know how you did we didn't talk about the contest. So every month we pull a winner for our, our, our raffle contest. And when you come on and you comment or you check in during the week on either our Twitter or our Facebook, then we enter you into the raffle. At the end of the month, we pull the name and we send you a prize. So we will definitely, yes, yes. A special magical prize from Harry Potter Man. Oh, I'm not giving up my, my remember ball. I'm not. No, we need the remember ball. I do. We all do, but we know you get you get overwhelmed with lots of squirrels. <laughs> I need that remember ball. Remember ball. So. Remember ball. Yes. All right. Oh, oh. You want me to draw a card? Yes. Message for the day. Let's do the message uh -huh. for the day. All right. Message for the day is. Drum roll. Uh, Can you hear it? I feel like taking the top one. I don't know. Take it. Whatever you're trying to. 
opportunity to forgive. Oh, that is so interesting. Wow. Look at the koala bears. I love koala. Okay. Okay. I think right. that, this is, is my this, message. Wait, you need to hear this? I, I, okay. Okay, here we go. So, um, the situation brings you the opportunity to heal goal and release negative patterns. Oh, this is for you. <laughs> Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. The angel sent you this card because you see that you've got really of a recurring negative pattern in your life. To break this cycle, it's important for you to release all toxic thoughts about the situation and relationship. Oh, it's about me too. <laughs> I'm sure it affects a lot of people. It's just interesting that that came today. I know. You can do this by breathing deeply and on each exhalation, giving your fears, worries, anger, and other painful emotions to the angels. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you are condoning the other person's behavior. It just means that you're unwilling to carry the toxic feelings and thoughts about him or her. Hmm. Really, be free and experience positive patterns through forgiveness. So will you send me a picture of the card and the, what it means? Sure. I really, okay, so this is, I'm just going to be totally candid now. So um, I am in a group I was invited to called... I don't want to say the name. I don't want to, cause I don't know how, how, I don't know if everybody else wants anybody else in there that's not been invited. So anyways, it's just for people who have survived either sexual abuse is really what it is. And so yesterday the discussion was, and there were some live streams that were being done by a couple people. The discussion was on forgiveness. So if you forgive somebody who's raped you or molested you, are you then saying it's okay that they did that to you? Even because no. they've never apologized to you, no. right? So we went down this whole, you know, this whole thing and then how, you know, forgiveness is part of the healing process. And so, you know, for the guy who raped me, who has passed now, I am thinking about going to his grave and having a conversation. And I don't know if that's going to be anger or nice or end up being in forgiveness because honestly, there's a piece of me that's like, I need to have that conversation and get to the end and have forgiveness. Uh -huh. Right. And so it was just interesting because this whole discussion was about this yesterday and you pull the forgiveness card today. So, well, and, and for those of you that know, you know, and we've talked about 12 step programs and how, how much they teach you about how to live your life. Um, and that's one of the things they say, forgiveness is not, it's not for forgiving is not forgetting. It's, it's, it's not forgiving so that you can move on. Right. It's for, it's for you. It's not for them. Right. No, and I totally, I always say, you know, when you hold bad feelings towards somebody, it's like drinking poison, expecting them to die. Right. So I totally get and, that. And it's the same on the reverse too, right? So that when you are owning up to something and apologizing, because you felt how, I don't know, it's happened to me. I've apologized for something the other person wasn't even offended by. Right. Right. No, that's true. But I did it. Right. That's so totally true. But I have yeah. to say, and this is where I'm kind of like being a little caught up lately. So I was molested when I was younger by a family member. And I have recently been thinking that I need to talk to him and get an apology because he's never apologized. But then as I was playing that on my head this weekend... What does that look like? How is that going to end? And, you know, what do I really get from it after this point? I, I, so it's kind of really confusing. No, I, so those of you that were listening in the beginning, we do have a um, gal that helps us intuitively. And one of the questions I had was regarding a family member. And I talked about it. I, I briefly put out there that I decided not to talk to this person because I wouldn't. Right. And she said, absolutely not. You're not going to get that's not going to go well. So I would say definitely, you know, put that in your God box, pray on it, whatever you need to do. Um, and just, yeah, let that sit a little bit. You've obviously let it sit anyways. <laughs> so that's advice that you don't like it, just, you know, don't take it. But Right, right. So. For what it's worth. So. 
Oh, well. So we've digressed. Yes. But anyway, so anybody with your gold lessons, if you have anything to add on that, if you have any questions on anything that we've talked about, we're very open as you can tell. Right. And we will be here next week, and we'll be talking about the, the third step in finding and working with an accountability partner. Yes. Thank you. And thank you, Cindy, for sharing and being vulnerable and for me too, because I know that's not the easiest thing to do. So hopefully yeah. with being vulnerable about things like this, it helps other people as well. So bunny ears. Bye, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, bye. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.